How's it going traders? It's your boy TJ. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone has had a good trading week so far. I'm dropping the ultimate video that everyone would need to know in how to actually trade in the December month. December can be really tricky with trading. There's a lot of breaks happening, a lot of news happening. It's all one big mess December. I normally don't even trade December. Last year, during December, I had probably the worst trading month of my life. Ever since then, I've been scarred to trade the December month. I wanted to go through some top tips that will help you improve your trading throughout the December month and only take W. If you are new around here, like and subscribe to the channel. I upload Monday, Wednesday, Friday on this main YouTube channel with shorts being uploaded Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday. With shorts being uploaded Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Maybe even Saturday, Sunday, who knows? But content is popping. 2023 is gonna be the level up, not just for me, but for you. Without further ado, let's get into this video, baby. Trading in December can be quite volatile. The market may move sideways, might not. It's unpredictable to say the least. I've traded it many, many years before. As I said at the start of this video, last year was the year where I just gave up trading in December. And I said I weren't gonna trade this year. But I wanted to go on and prove myself wrong. This year I am trading in the summer month. Links in description. I've already taken a minus 2% on a trade this week. It's the start of December. So I'm currently down minus 2%. And I will show you these strategies on the PC because the strategy that I'm going to be using for gold during this December month is insane. But one way to keep it calm and collective is to not to over trade. I'm looking to only enter twice within the week. So because I've already entered once this week, if I don't get a win on my second entry, then I'm only going to take that loss. This is a structured trading plan in place. So if I do the maths, I can only lose 8% within the month of December. This is key. Just to say I'm even going to lose 8%, but where before you could have kept on trading, you know, every day, five days a week, entering into the markets, that's 20%. You're decreasing them losses by 12%. You're saving yourself. And also, you don't need to over trade. This was a big thing in my December month. When I first started trading, I wanted to trade all the time. You need to learn and understand you don't have to trade. You've got to take a break from trading. December is probably the best time to take a break. All the successful traders will be taking breaks in December. What's the point in trading? The best month of the year, everyone basically looks forward to December. Have a break, there's nothing better, which is why I'm also going to be uploading content all the time. And you need to watch content, grow your trading ability, your skills, your knowledge, everything you need to know about trading is on this channel. And if you keep watching, keep growing, keep supporting, you can only develop your skills and become better. I don't need to worry about risk management. I know my risk management's on point. I enter the same lots, the same position, the same currency pair. I don't need to alter the risk at all. I keep my risk 0.5 to 1%. If I'm using a 10 pip SL and I might move my SL to 20 pips instead of 10 pips, that's why I took minus 2%. That's the only reason why I took minus 2% because if I believe in the trade and I don't want to get stopped out through spreads, then I'll move the SL just a little bit more. It's up to you if you wanted to do this. I advise traders to not use 10 pip SLs at the start of trading. And if they are using a funded account, then just go and use 0.5%. There's no rush, but also remember you as a trader need to make these decisions for yourself. You need to be comfortable with trading this amount of risk needs to be comfortable with using the same risk every time. It's one of those things that you've got to keep the training plan and keep your trading disciplined to the point where every single time you trade, it is the correct way to trade. You handle your emotions by not entering more than two trades within that week. And for me personally, I just advise everyone in December just to take a break, relax, just watch content, just grow as a person, develop yourself, spend time with family, and in 2023, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, we're going hard. But without further ado, I'll get on the charts, show you the strategy I'm going to use for December. Bit of price action, some supply and demand zones. It's a little bit of something, something. It's basically how I trade. It is how I trade. So here we go. Simple analysis on this chart, we're currently on the 1H. You can see, and this is how you just literally trade. Previous highs up here, 
from the previous sell off at 2077, which is, will be on a daily. But if we're going off here, if you look, price, previous sells were up here, and we've touched. Therefore, we're at a point in the market where we could see further pullbacks, probably around 1750 area, maybe. But when looking at price action, from up here, you see it touched 1810, pull all the way back down. Previous lower highs, 1616. Pull up, pull back down, touch twice, one, two. Failing to make new highs. One last wick out for previous sales, massive set off as a liquidity grab to the downside, and then straight in to buy's bullish market. And when you're looking at the supply and demand zone and price action, you can clearly see we are bullish uptrend at the moment. Clear rejection, which you could have jumped in sales. I didn't, it was on the Friday. I didn't want to hold over the weekend. But yeah, you could have jumped in sales, held for a stupid amount of pips in profit, and obviously made insane bank. Now, that's what you could have had. You could have even had something like this down here. I made a 20 to 1. If you really like, have bigger SLs, 30 to 50 pips, even if you're making 3 4%, if that's enough, like a 2 400k account, you're making 8 16k. Now, when you see this trade, just to help you, we're staggering up, which is what the bullish does. We could see retracement now due to the 1811 being touched, but I'm waiting for 1813. But if you're marking out this zone, this is the highs, this is the lower lows, these are the staggers down here. And if you actually look on the uh, rectangle bar right here, respecting previous lower high high, respect previous lower high high. We haven't respected. We just only come down to the previous bullish, which means we could see further pulls up, then sells back down to 17.54, to then catch further buyers, and then break out of the previous zone that is made into long. Reading the charts correctly is very, very important. Obviously, you've got the 4H calendar, you've got the 1H calendar to go off as well, so you can look for better entries. As I said, 17.53, the bullish the body sorry on the lower high but also you've got to watch out for the lower high as well it, we could come up and retrace there very possibly can come and retrace to 1700 again from 1810 as this one two three touch but i'm still waiting for some sort of breakout 1812 which means we haven't finished the bullish run yet so this should just trigger to bullish either around 1752 1745 or even at 1767 we should aim to 18, 13. It's just how you read charts and then you wait for the next move. If it breaks out of the 18, 13 range, then you know, you're looking for buys all the way to the round 2000, which is uh, going to be an exciting 2023 year. Hope you guys did enjoy that video. A tough month December normally is. Hopefully you learned something from that insane analysis back there, the chart markups. If you guys need more chart analysis videos, let me know in the comments down below. Just be safe in December. Join up the free trading group. Subscribe to my channel. Check out all my content. Grow yourself as a person. Develop your skills moving on to 2023. And let's have a good year next year. Thank you for watching. I appreciate the support. Until the next video, catch you all in a bit. Peace.